We're an American family with five kids and we've been living in Brazil for about four and a half years now. Just about every single Brazilian we meet asks us the same question. What are you doing here? In this video, we will be answering this question with eight shocking truths. Make sure to watch till the end because number seven is my favorite. Before we jump in, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, please follow us on Instagram at Our Brazilian Life. Don't forget, we always put English and Portuguese subtitles on all of our videos. You can turn those on in the video settings in YouTube. Number one, why do we live in Brazil? Because it is the most beautiful country in the world. Number two, the Brazilian people are very kind, warm, and loving people. Uh, one of the greatest things about the people here in Brazil is that they're open and you get to know them very quickly and very easily. Uh, I also like the, the kisses, the hugs and kisses. It's a very touchy uh, culture and, and they love to give the hugs and kisses. Like, mm -hmm. Which is a bit different from Americans because we like to shake hands, but man, Americans need Brazilian hugs. It's so good. There's lots of touch, lots of feeling. It, it's, a, it's a very intimate culture, and that's one of the great things that we love about it. It's also a, a family-oriented culture where the people are, are very close-knit with their family. They don't have very many kids, like one, maybe two children per family, but it's a... Uh, uh, they, they hold their kids and their family very close to each other. Number three, our kids are bilingual, which is amazing. That was a big goal for us. That was something that was really important living in another country. We wanted them to learn the language and there's no better way to do that than to actually live in that native environment. So our kids are fluent in Portuguese. That's been an incredible opportunity for them. And Portuguese is very Latin. So it's a great base for learning other languages in the future. Brazil is the largest country in South America and the most populated country. And because it has the most people living in Brazil out of all the, those in South America, if you speak Portuguese, you can do very well in business and communications here in South America. E aí, gente, como tá? Tudo beleza? Soco, soco, vira, vira, soco, bate, soco, vira, soco, bate, vira. Oh, japa, japa. Já passou. <laughs> Number four, free public health care. Healthcare in the United States is crazy expensive and it's free here in Brazil for Brazilians, permanent residents, for even travelers. If you're passing through Brazil, you have access to free healthcare, which is incredible. So you have the option of choosing private care and finding private doctors for things that you need. And sometimes that is a good and better option. It just depends on what you need and your preferences. And that does cost you out of pocket, but it's a fraction of the cost cheaper than the United States. For example, uh, before we moved to Brazil, I think it was the day before, Macy, she broke her arm and we didn't have insurance in the United States. So we took her to the emergency room, we waited at the, at the emergency room, they gave her an x-ray and afterwards they gave her a brace. They didn't even put her into a, uh, into a cast. And they said, uh, come back in a week. To, to have a checkup. We couldn't come back in a week because our flight was the next day. We got on the plane, we flew to Brazil. Uh, a few months later, a few weeks later, we got a bill in the mail for $6,000 just for an x-ray and a sling for her arm. Nothing else, no other care was provided. And here in Brazil, 
Macy has also broken bones and she and we've taken her to the public hospitals and we go in we have to wait a long time that's true uh, but you also have to wait a long time in the United States so we waited a long time they they put us through gave us an x-ray and then they put a cast on her right right then and there after they saw what was wrong and it was free we didn't have to pay anything we've also paid for private health care here in Brazil and it's pretty good it's it's inexpensive relatively and you go in and you sit down with the doctor and they spend the entire hour sitting down and chatting with you to see what's wrong to see how they can help and they really get to know you in the United States it's uh, 10 minutes it's it's in and out it's yeah. a, as quickly as they can possibly get you in and out and you don't you don't feel like you have that connection with the doctors in the United States as you do here in Brazil and they they ask you to come in for a follow-up visit and and that's included in your in your first visit so we use a combination of private health care and also the pro the public health care here in Brazil. This is kind of a hot topic. So let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comments about your experiences with Brazilian healthcare. Number five, cost of living in Brazil is very affordable. Uh, we live in a very nice home. We eat very well and we, we put our kids through homeschooling, private schooling. We have our own teacher and all of this is very affordable. And we could not live, we could not have this lifestyle, the same lifestyle that we have now in the United States. So we really enjoy the elevated lifestyle that we live here in Brazil. I would say that our our rent is for sure less than half uh, of what we'd be paying in the United States. And we wouldn't have all the luxuries that we have here as well. So there's actually a lot of places in Brazil that are cheaper than Rio de Janeiro, which is where we live. So leave in the comments, where's the best place to live in Brazil? Is it the north, the south? Where's the cheapest place to live? Because even though we live in Rio de Janeiro, which is one of the most expensive places to live in Brazil and in South America, it's still a lot cheaper than the United States. So what are your thoughts? One of the great things about living here in Brazil is the, the cost of food. The cost of food here is relatively inexpensive. It, the prices have been going up because of inflation and other things, but it's it's inexpensive. Uh, you can buy a lot of food, a lot of fresh organic food. Uh, when we go to the grocery store, our cart is mostly filled or halfway filled up with fresh produce and, and vegetables and, and fruits. It's a beautiful thing to see. Number six, exposing our children to a new culture. Brazil is an extremely diverse nation and the difference between just traveling to Brazil and living here is that you actually really, really get the time to develop relationships and spend time with people who look different, speak different, have different traditions than you. And you really, really get to not just see it, but really experience it and, and grow to love people who are different and and get used to being around differences and 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 how that makes you flexible and welcoming and it becomes like a way of life just like accepting different people. Brazil is a gigantic country and it seems like there are are different countries within the country of Brazil. For example, in in Salvador, there's a, a certain lifestyle, a, a way of living. And if you go from Salvador up to Aracaju, for example, the the accent is different, the the influence on the culture is different, the food is different. You can you can feel a big difference, and it's uh, a relatively short distance. Also, from Rio de Janeiro to São Paulo, you can tell a difference in the accent, 
the food, the way people live, the lifestyle. It, it's, it's, uh, it's like two different countries from Rio de Janeiro to Sao Paulo. We haven't gone to the south of Brazil yet, but we know that there's a very large European German influence in the south of Brazil. And so all, all, wherever you go, the different regions of Brazil, it's, you, you meet different types of people, different cultures, different food, and it's a beautiful thing to see. It's really a great thing to be living here because we really get to spend time doing it, not just <clears throat> passing through for a few days, but to really sit, enjoy, and soak up the culture, soak it up, really soak it up. And I think that makes a really big difference in our lives and particularly in the lives of our kids because they're growing and learning how to interact and appreciate people. And it makes them so much more flexible. Exposing our children to a new culture helps dispel negative stereotypes and personal biases about different groups. In addition, cultural diversity helps us recognize and respect a different way of life that are not necessarily the same as our own. So that as we interact with others, we can build bridges of trust, respect, and understanding across cultures. Number seven, it is affordable to have hired help at home. This might seem like a simple thing, but it is a game changer for me. We are able to have a full-time maid here in Brazil. Our maid cooks breakfast and lunch. She does all the laundry and she totally cleans the house, scrubs the floors, cleans the bathroom, all that hard work. Um, we have help with. And you parents out there know how much work it is to care for your home and family and to have help with that is amazing. It is a game changer. It really frees up, particularly my time, to do the things that I enjoy. To, uh, it takes just a lot of stress and time off my plate. It allows me that freedom to be creative, do the things that I enjoy, to work on and improve our business, to go on dates, to just enjoy life a lot more without all the constant stress and pressure of taking care of your home. So for me, it has really elevated our lifestyle by having all that support at home. And I wish we had lived here when my kids were babies because that was a lot of work. Um, in Brazil, you can have a maid, a gardener, a pool guy, a handyman, whatever you need, it's, it's very affordable. In the United States, okay, so. And it's common. Yeah, it's very common here. Very, very, very common. Everybody has some form of help, whether it's full time or one day a week. It's easily accessible. And yeah, it's very common in the US. It's culturally not common. And even like wealthy people don't have a maid um, because in Brazil for a maid, it's about 10 to 20 dollars a day, depending on where you live. Uh, for the same service in the United States, it's going to run you 150 to 250 dollars a day to have someone cleaning your house. And that doesn't include cooking food or anything like that. So to me, it is a luxury that I love and appreciate. Um, our maid really makes my life easy and I appreciate her. So for me, that has been a huge uh, game changer and has really elevated our lifestyle is having all this support at home, especially with a big family. Number eight, the business opportunities here in Brazil are amazing. We came here to Brazil. We opened up a trampoline park called Big Jump USA. We have multiple locations here in Rio de Janeiro and it is fantastic. We love it. It has afforded us great opportunities and uh, it's helped us to meet a lot of different people. Uh, it's not easy to do business here in Brazil, but that's uh, almost a given. But if you're willing to persist uh, and, and make it through those hurdles and those obstacles, I think that you can, you can do very well in business. There are lots of people who are unwilling to, uh, to go through those obstacles. And that's why there are opportunities in Brazil. 
As foreigners, there are some added challenges. Uh, we had to learn the laws, labor laws, accounting. So if you're gonna do business here, you need a good team of lawyers and accountants that you can trust because there's no way to know it all. Um, and you do have to get used to a different business culture. But again, there is a lot of opportunity here, especially in our line of work, which is the family entertainment industry. Um, it's that field has a lot of opportunity in it and Brazilians love to have fun. They love to be with their family. We have party rooms. So we've got a good business model that has really worked well in Brazil and it has created um, freedom, opportunity. We have, since we're business owners and we homeschool, we can travel a lot and experience more of Brazil. We get to meet a lot of really cool people and it has really enriched our experience here. And like my husband said, it hasn't been easy. It's not an easy thing to do, whether it's learning Portuguese to communicate well in your business professionally or figuring out all of the laws. There's a lot to learn, but again, we, you know, we're willing to take on the challenge and do what it takes. And we're willing to do things that people aren't. And so that's put us in a unique situation where we've had a lot of success because there's not um, very many trampoline parks at all here in Brazil. So it's been an exciting adventure and one that has been worth it. We don't want to sugarcoat it and say that, you know, it was a piece of cake because it wasn't, but it was just really worth it for us. One of the keys to success here in Brazil is building up a network of people that you can trust. Once you find those people that you can trust, you hang on to those people and you take care of them very well so that you can use them again and again to build up the business. These top eight are just a few of our favorite reasons that we live in Brazil. We could go home to the States at any time. We choose to live here. We choose to grow our business here in Brazil because it gives us such a wonderful life and so many rich experiences and opportunities. So thank you for watching this video. We hope you love Brazil as much as we do. We hope that you come and visit and maybe move here. See you next time. Ciao.